Good evening, all. Welcome. This is an FMA discussion episode 281, and today we're going to be featuring Belintawak, and we're going to be featuring two masters. Fortunately, today I was supposed to meet up with these guys, but um, unfortunately, um, family situation got in the way. But I'm just so happy, though, that we're getting them on and they could be featured and be heard. Um, I'm looking forward to this. This so our guest, if you do not know it yet, is going to be Master Eugene Samuel and Master Jonathan Leonard. And we're going to hear about their Belintawak version. I'm, you know, I know there's some groupings and all that, but I'm, I don't know fully. So this is going to be a learning one for me as well. So I'm looking forward to it. Also, demos. They're going to be demos. I got one request for a demo and, and whatever they want to show them. So we're going to give them free reign just to showcase what they're doing. They also did a seminar today. So we're going to cover that, how that went and everything. So if you have questions, let me know. And stick around at the end, I will give what's coming up. Double header Tuesday, just how it worked out. And we have the running raffle for the uh, Ukrainian refugees. Ten bucks a ticket. And the prizes are are pretty up there. A lot of books donated, some really, really good stuff. And you're helping a great cause. All right, without further ado, here we go. Hey, hey. Well, welcome. So after the discussions, guys, how are you guys doing? You guys must be exhausted. Yeah, I've been doing this <laughs> since last night. You got training last night. You did the seminar. You did another class. And then now you're on here to do more stuff. <laughs> it's more talking than moving. So that's good to that. <laughs> well, here, well, I'm going to try to make this as painless as humanly possible. Okay. <laughs> So, okay. all right. So, this will not be anything remotely torturous. Okay. So, hey, um, Maestro Eugene, can you is it can you possibly slide over a bit, just a little bit, if you could? Right there. Perfect. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Just so people like, hey, where is he? I only see half his face. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. And we got <laughs> folks already jumping in. Folks, if you're watching, tell us where you're watching from. Smash that like button, and we're just getting started. So, um, each of you obviously train Balintawak. That's quite obvious. So, what was your pre? Before we get into the balloon to walk, you guys' um, journey there. What was each of you? We, whoever wants to start first. What was your uh, other FMA training or just martial arts training in general? What did you guys do? What did you guys start with? Uh, my martial arts journey, I guess, pretty much began kind of like a lot of kids. Um, I guess back in the 1980s, where. Um, either there weren't a lot of martial arts schools around or maybe I was too scared to go to some of them. So I think I would just watch a lot of Shaw Brothers movies when I was a kid. And I would also watch a lot of boxing and get my hands on some Bruce Lee and Dan Inosanto training methods books and just pretty much follow them to the T. Uh, but eventually I, I officially started uh, martial arts in uh, the early 90s at a, an uh, Aikido club in uh, the University of Connecticut. And from there, I also did a lot of other things. I did a lot of Chinese, uh, Chinese wushu. Uh, some you know Muay Thai, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, and a little bit of FMA before I found uh, Bonitawak in about 2006, which was the invention of YouTube. <laughs> so that's where my Bonitawak journey began, necessarily. But but I think we're talking about just uh, martial arts before that, right? Yeah. So what was the FMA style you played around with pre Bonitawak? Yeah, I did some seminars. I think and I think I went to a couple. It was so long ago, and I was so it was just like 2004, 2005. I didn't really know what I was. I was interested in, in the weapons based um, instruction because I know they start with that instead of the ending with weapons. Yeah, and it's like not maybe the primary uh, training method, but I was really interested in it. So I think I did some uh, seminars in Modern Arnis. I did some mm -hmm. lessons in Modern Arnis, and I went to a couple seminars, and I think it's called the uh, Dikiri Terja Siradas. And, uh, don't tell. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And that was about it, though. It wasn't super serious. There wasn't anything necessarily near me. Mm. Uh, so I had to travel for those. Um, so, but that was it. Yeah. That was it. Who was that? Um, you know, it's funny when you mention my niece, you know, you know what it, I tell you, it's kind of, it's really funny in a way. You know, when I started doing these interviews, I really found out how big my niece was in Connecticut, like pre that. Like, I had no idea. <laughs> and I had no idea that minor East was like that prolific in Connecticut. And then I started doing these and then like with Frank and Brian, I'm like, wow. Yeah, I, I always view Modern East as one of the bigger FMAs in general, I think, right? Yeah, now. yeah. But like in Connecticut, like my original teacher, Ron, I thought he was kind of like, oh, yeah, he's kind of a pioneer. 
and FMA and all that. I had no idea that minor knees predated him pretty significantly. You know what I mean? So it's just, um, it's like, wow, yeah. you know, Connecticut, obviously you guys know not being the biggest of states. Right. Sure. And all that. So uh, same question for you, uh, Maestro Eugene. Oh, yeah. I, I started karate, you know, Shirin Ryu, karate. And then uh, a little bit of Tatkonto. Tatkonto is like a, a balita book version of empty hand, kind of mixed with Kung Fu a little bit. With the mm -hmm. Jose Jogo Milan, which is also a balita book great. And then I did a little bit of, you know, a little bit uh, from there. I also train. Um, uh, I think that's the, that's the most that I did before before I did balita book. And of course, you know, my influence, I would say that my or bad influence, and if, you know, whatever you say it, the guy who influenced me to do our niece was a certain guy named Yuli Romo. Well, you know how I love Yuli Romo. So. <laughs> oh, that's a great one. So I, I want to like, say, oh, hey, I want to learn with Yuli, but he lives in Manila. Mm -hmm. so, okay, oh, okay, but, but wait, he's also a Why won't we train Balintawak? And then the risk goes on, goes on. I met, you know, my first Balintawak teacher, and then <clears throat> now I'm training with Ramon, Franco <laughs> Veles, that's my main handsome teacher. He's out there. Emphasis on, emphasis on the handsome part, I guess. <laughs> yes, indeed. Oh, so <laughs> he's the son of um, the late Grandmaster Chupilo Veles, and he's my okay. my main Valentino teacher. Wow, wow, wow! So Yuli, I tell you, man, I mean, that's you know, folks that are watching. The three of us are uh, very big fans of Yuli Romo. Um, you know, yes, you know, gap, yes, you know the gap when we started. Yeah, he used to call me Tak. Tak is to say kid. Hey kid. Then later he called me Dong, which is boy. Now he calls me Bai, which is buddy. So that's the. <laughs> no one from boy to boy to like young uh, youngster to you know <laughs> a grown up adult. That's all on my I, that, I just, yeah, that guy's, I just got a soft spot for that guy. I always have. I just, I'm so glad I'm training with him now. And folks that are watching, Eugene jumps in at time to time to help with some of the translation and all that. And it's, it's really wonderful when he jumps in too. And uh, hopefully you'll continue to do that. <laughs> so, um, so then, all right, so we got your pre. So what, um, let's uh, switch it back to you, John. What was the interest or inclination? Like, why did you seek out Blintawak? Um, I just thought it. It's just, it kind of um, is the the dynamic nature of Balintawak. Um, it's not so unique where it's um, it's dynamic like that, but a lot of uh, Screema and Arnis I saw, at least for videos and, and a lot of other places, it was kind of like someone does a technique and then someone does some prescribed technique and does a disarm or whatever the case may be. But Balintawak seemed like super alive to me when I watched when YouTube first came out and people started coming out with videos. So I'd watch, um, back in 2006, there were some people, of course, uh, in Cebu, like in, in what's now known as what bag. So the Velez brothers. So mm. primary teacher Moni Velez and his brothers, Chito and Eddie Velez. And of course the great Babi Tabuada and, um, you know, Babi Tabimina and of course many others. And I would just watch their videos all the time. And Rino Balinado of Nicopa. So I watched their videos all the time and I took what I knew already of some FMA, just some basics, mm. you know, and I would just kind of watch the videos. I'd rip them off YouTube and <laughs> download it to my hard drive and I'd just watch them all the time and just copy their movements all the time. Right. So, yeah. Absence of anything else. Right? It, was so fast, it was so fast to me. So I had to like really watch over and over, like, what are they doing? Yeah. 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 Really yeah, kind of right. You'd have to like slow it down and just like, yeah. Um, okay, so it was, so yeah. who was the first person that you actually, you know, got in touch with as far as, you know, hands on training, one on one training? Eugene Nepange. And what, and, and what year? 2007. Yeah. I, oh, I, oh, wow. So it's, it's been it's been a while now. Okay. Yeah, back, back then, I would I would still look at um places like fmatalk.com and uh, the old FMA forum. You know, mm -hmm. I would try to just learn all I can about like the history of Bonintawak and all the all different personalities. And I would sometimes reach out to people. And uh, I reached out to our good friend, Richie uh, Gumahin in St. Louis. And, you know, he told me, you know, because Eugene ended up living in Providence, Rhode Island, which is not very far from me. And he's like, hey, you know, this guy, Eugene, I met him. You know, he's really good. You know, he's a really great guy. You should meet him if you can. So I constantly email Eugene until he emailed me back finally. <laughs> so okay. that's it. Yeah, history ever since. Wow. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Richie actually sent a question in, so uh, he sent a few in. So he has been in contact today. What? Um, so for you, uh, Maestro Eugene, you, I know you mentioned Yuli, but like, was Yuli then your kind of first hands on far as yeah. what? Yeah. He was, he was the, like the influence for me that I put me into FMA just because of him. Like, you know, I would, oh man, I, I, I finally like Arnis because I've seen Arnis a lot growing mm -hmm. up, but kind of like he was like my influence that, you know, I was into it. Yeah. yeah. Can't go wrong there. Yeah. Um, so who, who did you follow up with after him? And after him, when I went back to Cebu, I end up with the late Jose Jogo Milan. That's actually Yuli Romo's uh, Balintawak teacher. Okay. He was pretty good. He was like the founder of Tat Kunto. He's just a low profile. Nobody knows him that much. But I met, I, that was my first Balintawak teacher. And then when he passed, I end up with, you know, Ramon Franco Villas, Moni in Moni short. And he's been my teacher till now. You know, I still call him, well, how will you do this kind of thing? You know, I still ask, you know, in so, so you're still with him presently. Okay. Yeah, still is. Still is. Okay. I was fortunate to train with other greats, like, you know, of course, our hero, Grandmaster Bobby Tabuada. Yeah, I learned from him. I also trained from him. From him. I also trained with, uh, used to train with uh, Grandmaster Bobby Tabimina a little bit, you know, mm -hmm. nice him, just how good he was. He is. I also trained with uh, Grandmaster Nene Gabukayan in LA. Yeah, I can train with who else? Uh, Grandmaster Nick Elizar. Okay. Um, there's a lot of guys who are good, I think, I can remember, but those are, you know, one of the few that really influenced okay. so Of course, you know, that chance with the you know, great Rino Balinado is also very good. Yeah, should right. be Some of the names are okay, they're new to me, but I mean, um, fascinating. So, what, um, just, you know, for the viewers who are watching who may be, and I, you know, I know a little of this just by virtue of doing interviews, but I don't claim to be, you know, thorough in this, as far as historically speaking. Um, <clears throat> how did Palintawak form? Like, you know, you hear the different things is breaking off from Dose Paris and Salvador and all that, but I guess, like, what, what's your guy's interpretation or what was told yeah. to you? Yeah. Was? It's Palintawak of its own interpretation. It's kind of like, Soda, you can say Coke and Pips, Pepsi. They're all colas, though. Though they, they are different brand, they slightly taste different, but they're the same. It's just the way the flavor is different. Okay. So um, in in the village system, you know, Bilicin and village system, we or they or we 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 teach the grouping systems. <clears throat> so, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention Grandmaster Ising until you too. I learned from him too. Okay. I train, I, I train a little bit in the Philippines and here a little bit. Uh, so go back to the system. Um, it's like separating, you know, group one. Group one is our own, just anything that use, that, that use a left hand clearing, anything. You clear here, you clear out, that's group number one. Okay. Anything you do with a botting is group, num group number two. And anything you do with thrusting, that's group number three. Anything that goes with abanico or semi heating that's group number four and anything that goes with you know the clockwise or counterclockwise of you know the the punio mm. that's group number five simple as that the idea is there but uh you know it depends how you express it okay okay and generally speaking but now all plenty of systems use the grouping am i correct in that um it depends how because the this the uh, there's a random they also have others who have their own version of it. Mm. But if you look on it, you know, groupings is also there. It's just explained differently. Okay, okay. All Sometimes right. I think about it as like uh, like a, in boxing, if you start boxing, you might learn a set grouping, like a pattern, like one, two, three, mm. four, right? Or a different type of pattern like that, but you can do it broken. And of course, okay. you know, that's, that's four movements total, but you can do each one in different patterns or just one at a time, or you know, one then four, or uh, with all the different concepts as well. So I got you, I got you. Start with, this, with these types of patterns and then build from there, whereas some groups, they start uh, completely random without any type of long patterns like that. Or, okay, okay, so I, I, I got you. What, um, I mean, that, yeah. So what, no, but you guys definitely are along the grouping and all that. Do you find, before, you know, I don't want to jump, sh um, get ahead of us here, but, uh, you know what 
I'm going to get to like teaching and the groupings, but far as like getting back to what captivated you guys, when you started training that, like, you know, what kept you there? Like what, you know, what really resonated with each of you to like want to go deep within this system? Okay. Uh, I was going to say what, what really, um, with me, it's kind of like, uh, it's almost like Eugene almost has a saying now. It's like, don't look for the style, look for the teacher. And I just thought he was such a great teacher and such a, a wonderful person. You know, and I also met some of his teachers and some of his friends in, in our in our system. I just thought like this is just like a family oriented type of environment. That's what really drew me in first, to be honest with you. Yeah. But anyway, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I can we can do a little demonstration to make it even easier. Because sometimes if I talk, you know, it's sometimes it's hard to grasp it's, grasp exactly what I mean. Like, you know, if you don't mind. I can just give you like, you know, simple. Let's start from group number one. Okay, so group number one is anything that clears with the left hand. Gotcha. Anything. So it kind of looks like this. I'll show you first the basic pattern. All right, then, gonna, I will lower myself. Oh, yeah. You okay. tell me when to come back up. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. So anything that goes with the left hand clearing. So the basic looks like this. It can either start here. You know the one here, then go. That two. He's clearing his left hand. That one there. It's as simple as that. And it's right here. So it's the clear of left hand. If I'm doing group one, anything that you see like this here, that one here, this is group one. Strike. Right. See? It's my left hand clearing it. So it's it's a group hand, you know, it's left hand clearing. So anything that goes with the clearing is group one. It's clearing obstructions. Yeah, stuff clear your obstruction way, get out of the way hand. and get to the head. So you see, you, you can see any balinta walk doing that. All balinta walk do that. Even other uh, FMAs. If it's right here, here, I clear. See, I clear. Here, see, I clear. You see? Oh, oh I clear it then. So if that's anything that goes with the clearing, that's group number one. Left hand clearing. It can be uh, the hand, or it can be anything that clears with the left hand. It can be this one here. See? Mm, see? That's group number one. So that's one of the examples that I mean that you see in all Balinta walks. Not only Balinta walks, you see it in modern Arnis, you see it in Pikiri. You see it in those Paris. The only difference is the strikes are slightly different, but the hand maneuvering is there. Definitely see it. I mean, Monter and Nice, I could definitely see the Blantawak influence. I mean, for sure. Yeah. And this is, and no this is have a left hand clearing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, so, how many, all right. So, you mentioned you got, you know, within your guy's particular style, you got five groupings? Five? Yeah. We just showed you okay. group one. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, and because I know Bobby, I think's got six, and then the seventh one is Bobby. you kind of bring your own stuff into it. Graduation. Oh, your grandmaster Bobby is uh, he had the uh, seven levels. So that, right, okay. If you get to seven, you're you're a full qualified instructor. Right. Okay. So he how many covers, levels? Yeah, he still covers groupings. Okay, and he's got the same five groupings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, anything, five groupings and seven. I got you. Got you. Yeah, anything, ideas, yeah, anything is from uh, anything that comes from Veles and uh, Villasin. They all cover groupings. They all have the group. Got it. Got it. Um, so I uh, got a question here from Richie, and he wants to know how did your KI enhance your understanding of blunt walk? Yeah, that's a very good question. Thank you, Richie. Um, my uh, my influence and in, in Screama, in Screama is Yuli Romo. He was a Lestrissimo guy. But the guy who first taught me, you know, this regular class, Lestrissimo, was a guy named, is the guy named Raul Marquez. Very, very smart guy. You know, he's just, he's smart in his own way. Yeah, I know. We're trying, we're trying to get him on. He's New York City. Good, you know, right? New York City. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, get, get, getting the, the patterns and, you know, the, the, the patterns of the drills and all the stuff from him. It, you know, it expands deeper my understanding in Belinda Walk. Vice versa, you know, Melis Rissimo too is kind of like different. I mean, 
I would say not different. Yeah, it's a lot, slightly different in my own way because I combine both of them. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's kind of like you know, I'll give you an example. In Balintawak, we block like this. The lower myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we block like this. I did. I, that's Australia. Yeah. That's Australia. It's only Australia, but but I'm doing the Dipondo strikes. It say I'm not let, I'm not you know going straight to it. So it's Dipondo. It's here. At Australia, and then the Pondo. In the list system, you, you have this drill, right? You, you you do this here kind of thing. But it's still the same. It's this it's the same thing. That's Australia. That's one of the main examples that you know. This one here, group one. This is kind of like uh, a funny piece in Lustrissimo. This one here, see? Kind of thing. Or you know, it's like you're 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 doing a good thing. That's group one. This is it. Why you're doing that here? Because it's you're attacking it here. The one here. See if it hits. See the same thing. It's still group one pattern. It's the this one or funny piece or good thing. So looking at those three that was taught by me by Raul, it expands my understanding deeper than Balinta Wak. And plus, you know, additional of Yuli Rumo, you know, it adds up. That was that was that was pretty fascinating. Like I definitely saw the Australia, the Panapit. I mean, that was wow, wow. That was uh, we're going to recall it. Wow. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yes, but uh, yeah, that was good. Thank you, Rich, for the question. Uh, awesome. Um, so okay, the whole important, you know, one of the things, and again, you guys are gonna be able to obviously articulate this better than me. But when I've had Belinda Watt guys on before um well mainly gm bobby and there was another a gentleman we had on uh, i think actually julius interview attila what's the, the importance of the offhand and this i mean you know your guys if you're right-handed obviously the left hand so what is the significance and importance of the uh, of the left hand it depends how you use it you can use it in clearing you can use it in attacking meaning to say like for instance this one here <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I can do it with clearing here, here, clearing, or I can do it with striking or elbow or anything. If it's here, see, I can do elbow here. It's been hit. So it, it can be, there's a lot your left hand can do. Yeah, offensive, defensive. Yeah, baiting, you can, yeah, painting or anything here. You know, mm -hmm. I can use this. If he attacks, you know, I can use that. So now it's it's the left hand. You can you can you know you can you can trap. You can you can parry. You can hit. Okay, that's the purpose of the uh, the hand. Awesome, awesome. All right. Um, so, what do you, you know? As far as let's start with you, uh, Master Eugene. Uh, what did your teacher, you know, whether Yuli or you know Maestro Velas, what did they try to instill? like as far as you and your journey in blunt to walk were there core themes core concepts they try to impart in you mostly um uh, because i have like 90 percent from only 90 maybe to be fair 95 percent then i have a little bit one percent from here and there from other palenta walks hmm. um what they emphasize a lot is the body movements the body movements and understanding the groupings deeper and he said to me hey you know I cannot teach you all the time because you're not here ne next to me, but you can explore the art. <clears throat> so kind of like look at the other arts, learn, learn from the art, from between the art. I mean, let's say, you know, I'll do, I'll try to understand Balinta Walk by practicing Illustrissimo, or I'll try to enhance my Balinta Walk by practicing any system, Dosi Paris or any system that, you know, helps me get better understanding of Balinta Walk. Because, you know, it's just a name though, like, you know, everybody, you know, you, you, you agree with me this one. All arts only uses palm up and palm down, and in between, that's it. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> can't argue that. that that's yeah. I haven't seen that yet. Well, that <laughs> all. That, that basically, you, know, you can, but I can't. Yeah, no, understood. Palm understood. Down. It can be fencing, sword, anything. It's only yeah. palm up and palm down. That makes sense. There's nothing yeah. more than 
Yeah, like we say, like uh, the use of the left hand is defensive, offensive, uh, offensive, baiting, monitoring, mm -hmm. slapping, clearing, shocking the other, uh, the opponent's body. Like I think most systems have this kind of thing. All of them have. You know, so what sets us different? Well, we just have this our, our unique way of moving our body. It's just expressive. It's also similar to other systems too. You know, Lele Il Three Simo have their own way of unique, uniquely moving uh, the mm -hmm. body movement. You know, because we all have. And clearing, and just like and you know, I, I give you an example just like so. looking at the illustrative system. Uh, Jim, you only have a Balintawak background, mm -hmm. uh, Tony Jago, that's the Balintawak and modern artist background, and um, you know, and the other other pillars have different background. So, right. maybe say they express their own, uh, they understand their own expression of the art that they, they've been training. Like, I'm a mm -hmm. Balintawak guy, I'll try to put illustrative in my Balintawak, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. so still from, art between the art so that's a notice right now they have different flavor yeah no 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 exactly to be honest, in my opinion yeah. none of them came out in the uh ki theme episodes they have their so. own expression of the art yeah. which is all good don't get me wrong it's their expression yeah yeah art. right yeah i mean right their own interpretation flavor and all that yeah 100 percent um so uh maestro john what did uh what did your teacher saying next to you, what do you try and instill in you as far as your journey or impart in you as far as concepts, importance? Um, I would almost echo the same thing as Grandmaster Eugene, whereas it's really what. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, just like yeah, the body movement, the uniqueness of the body movement. That's what kind of separates us from other systems. Okay. Every system has punching, kicking. A little bit of grappling, all of these things. So this is the unique type of body movement that we do, which separates us. Okay. Well, maybe other systems or other styles or whatever you want to call it. And styles is kind of like one of those things where even in Balintawak, people have their own styles. Or even in Watbag, people have their own styles. Meaning style, meaning personality. You know, like everybody in Watbag, we're not completely the same, you know? Mm. An expression, depending on our, our body type or what we value, you know? So, okay. Uh, yeah. So you, all right, so now that you both, you're, I mean, now that you're both teaching, what do you, what do you try and instill in your students in their journey? I mean, do you, what do you try to, you know, as far as their individuality, their expression, you know, not being obviously robots of yourselves, what do you try to instill in them? Um, I, I would echo something that you know, Kuya Jean told me a long time ago is that when, when we teach, when Eugene teaches, when uh, our seniors, Noimoni, Noyedi, um, when they teach it, Balintawak comes from the heart and, and, and that's the source of it. That's yeah. What, that's what I'll say that. And I apologize, but I'll, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, yeah, no worries. Yeah. Get out. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so, yeah, what I think is like, you know, I know for me, myself, I normally just teach them the basic patterns <clears throat> and then I explain the, I explain the concept and i'm not insecure for to tell them to explore other arts that you know make you feel oh, fantastic arts better mm. right now you know in uh in california i don't have a regular valentava group there but they're all very good you know, good friends of mine they train different system so mm. i can just you know plug in and just plug in there anywhere you know in, in any art anything they want to do i can just join them because okay. everything you see like if they do abanico that's group four. Abaneko is semi hitting on group four. Okay. So Balintawa has his own version, but different, you know, of course, different flavor. But he also they also have the abanicos. And you know, the, and so on and so forth. So, mm. you know, I mean to say I give them the patterns and let them explore. And that's and I'm not gonna say, hey, you're not ready for the next one. Like I teach you this, you need to train with me for 10 years and before you're ready to teach. No, I don't do that. Yeah. If you can be better than me, like a week or so, then so be it, you know. And hopefully, you'll come back and teach me what you learned that I don't have. I know. Is that what make the circle goes around? You know, what yeah. I mean, it's not like indentured servitude. Be student all the time. So one of these days, they'll be better than you, whether you like it or not. I know, and you're holding him back just for God knows what reason. Yeah, I, I'm a friendly. I don't I'm to kneel before me all the time. That's a, that's not my type. I'm not I'm not made like that. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I appreciate people who have that mindset. I mean, it's like they get one journey. I mean, let them enjoy who they want to enjoy it with, and and right, like you said, hopefully they'll come back with 
great stuff. <laughs> hey, Eugene, you don't know this. I'll show you how to do this. Oh, man, okay, show me. That's new. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, right. I get better. Yeah, I know. No, I'm I'm with you on that. I just, uh, that whole, you know, keeping them right there, don't let them out. Yeah, that's. Yeah, it's, it's, it's difficult if you put them in the box because sometimes they'll, you know, they'll stay on it and then they have the tendency to grow. Because yeah. I, I only can teach them all I know. I don't know what I don't know. What I don't know. Yeah, right, right, exactly. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I agree. You know, and if they're and if, if the relationship is solid between this teacher and student and all that, they're going to come back and give it back to you. You know, I mean. So I, I'm always on, I'm always into a person who teaches the will the willingness to teach. Mm. It's kind of mm. like sometimes. Okay, I'll teach you, but Dean, but you know, eh, you're not ready for this one. Maybe come yeah. back from now. Then now I'll teach you this. Yeah, yeah. In five so, years, I'll, hopefully, I'll you. I'm gonna teach you one of these days, and then suddenly the guy passed. Oh man, yeah. you teach me that, but you know, you died. Damn, could have been better than this one. Yeah, you know, yeah. music's my ears. Um, so, you know, as far as like, um, and this, you know, this would be the same question for John when he comes back, but we can obviously start with you. Just, you know, progression for your students. So somebody walks in, they're new, like, you know, how, what do you start them out with? I teach, I teach them the, the basic, you know, I always, I always teach them the basic. And sometimes, you know, I teach it, I try to make it shorter if they, if I see like they're not, they're, they're in a rush to learn. But as soon as they, they, they start to like it, I'll put them back to the details. Okay. Because, you know, Strike basic one to twelve or one to twenty or one to a thousand. It's only pump up and bump down, man. There's nothing more or in between. That's it. I don't. I haven't seen someone striking like this anymore. Unless I haven't either. Like, but it's all like this. Who knows? Yeah. You know? it's like this, it's, it's just a pump up. You know, it can be this one here. It can be this one here. Yeah. Doesn't matter if it can be here or that one here. It's just pump down. There's nothing right. more. Yeah. No, it's uh, very very true. Um, so what? Do you, and then we'll save these questions too when when John comes back. So, what are some of the challenges that? Well, you know, actually, we can go back to you guys. What are some of your challenges, far as when you're going through it? And part two of the question: What are some of the challenges that your students experience as they're coming up through the levels? Yeah, first, the challenges is like if nobody knows you. Nobody's gonna pay attention with you. When I first came here in New England, and then that was like 2006 or something. Mm. I think I posted an FMA talk, an FMA forum. Hey, I teach Balinta Wak for free. Who wants to learn that? You know, nobody answers me. And they're like, yeah, no, you know, of course. <laughs> Balinta Wak was not so famous back then compared to now because of the social media. It was just Friendster before. It wasn't as famous as it is now. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, what's Bolinta Wak? Is it a laundry mat or something? No, it's a it's a Filipino martial art or something. Yeah. Yeah. Lucky for you know, lucky for us, we have Bobby the Wada. He's the, he's the reason why Bolinta Wak was known. Man, to did he freaking plow through, huh? And get the you know the recognition and exposure. Like, like Michael Jordan or the LeBron James or Bolinta Wak in any No, he's yeah. I mean, the way he markets, I mean, he's incredibly prolific. I mean, for, yeah, you know. Um, so part two to quite like for your student like what challenges have you noticed like when oh, they're yeah. coming through um uh, to be honest most of my students that train with me nobody wants to train with them for whatever reason i don't know that's just one one that i experienced i can be wrong i can be just be judged misjudged. so your students nobody wants to train with your students no what i mean is like my do the, you know, it's, it, I would say, what's the best way to say it, man? Damn. Like, I would say, it's sometimes hard for my student to mingle with other students. Kind of like, you know, they're like left behind or something. Oh, that's too bad. Maybe they're not good enough. I'm sorry for that. I'm doing my best, but that's all I got. No, 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 no. I'm sure. No, I, yeah. I mean, you know, there's some, unfortunately, not all parts, aspects of our parts or yeah. our community yeah. are all accepting. Yeah. I yeah. wanted to say it. It's something to do with the politics. Yeah, definitely. I'm not into politics, though. I'm, I'm, I want to be friends with everybody. Yeah, yeah, and I think most yeah. people see that and know that about you. Yes. Yeah. Unfortunately. 
That's too bad because I mean, yeah, I, I, I don't know, but I, you know, I think things have improved, you know, with COVID and you know going on some of the cross training. I hope I hope that continues, and I think once the old guard more and more will get removed, however way, I think you're gonna see more and more politics go away. I I, I think I hope so. You know, I mean, but. I mean, it's not to say it's going to be totally eradicated. I'm not saying that, but I think, you know, it'll be less. Kind of like, hey, let's train, don't tell Dean that we're training because he's going to kill us, you know, kind of like that. You know, I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. You know, but unfortunately, it's just the way it is, you know. With her, with her, with I know, I know, I know, I know. I see it all the time. I mean, when I, when I, these interviews, man, I mean, like, who I got to match up who I do the theme episodes. Are you kidding me? I, 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 I was very impressed with the last interview. I um, live it. And uh, Jack. Yeah, yeah. Hope, those two. I hope yeah, people yeah. learn like that. They're too, you know, too humble and be, you know. Yeah, that was a coincidence why those two were chosen for the opening one. You know what I mean? It was no coincidence why Brandon and Mark Wiley were chosen for the Ki opening one. You know, it's like you got to kind of go in. The, you know, you can't just randomly just throw these people in there and just okay, let's do it. I mean, you, I mean, you could, but I'm not saying it's going to turn out the best results. Mm -hmm. You know, but. uh so, John, while you were gone, there were two questions I asked um, Master Eugene. So, your progression, so two, um, two part. Your, the challenges you experienced when you were going through the levels and ranks and blah, 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 and what do you see some of the challenges of your students going through? The challenges of my students going through? Um, as well as yourself when you were going through the uh, ranks. Um, well, just, I guess coming up through what we call the ranks, uh, the biggest challenge is the body movement. <laughs> that, we go back to that again. It, a lot of it's very subtle, very nuanced. It's like when I was uh, first being exposed to Balintawak, uh, just through, you know, YouTube videos, I watch them all the time. But, uh, you know, I think I was copying them. And I was, but it was very superficial. There's a lot of nuances I wasn't seeing, you know, similar to any, any system, really, like if you're trying to learn wrestling or Wing Chun or whatever, you could copy as, as long as, as much as you want, but there's a lot of nuances you're not going to see. Um, and a lot of those are very subtle, you know. So that, that's one of the biggest challenges, I think, for myself and also for a lot of my students, training partners, is getting the really specifics because there's a lot of things happening, you know, with the shoulders, axis of rotation, and all coordinating that with the, uh, the lower body, the hips and the knees, but also adding that to stepping and footwork is, is quite challenging. I'm still working on it. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, I remember when at that seminar when you came down to uh, West Hartford, like I, I remember noticing your, yeah, like I, I could definitely see, you know, in the beginning, man, that's, there's no way that's easy. You know, um, coordinating that with proper striking. Yeah. And the most important is control and accuracy. For safety's for safety's reasons, anybody can you know pick up the stick and just you know. Yeah, anybody can pick up a stick and just swing it as fast yeah. as fast as you can and accurately, and also not cause no, it takes time. My, my takes teacher time. before um, Grandmaster Molly Villis, mm. he, he, he he tried you know he, he did that to me demonstration. He, he I lit a cigarette, he hit the tip of it, and took the light off. Wow. <laughs> Oh well, it, it was cool. How did you do that? You want to try this one here? I hit it's gonna move like this. Oh, never mind. Uh, no. No, I don't, I yeah. <laughs> no, I won't be volunteering for that. No. <laughs> <laughs> what, um, so okay, so you guys, uh, you guys had a seminar today. So, um, did you both co teach it? Um, yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah, you, I showed you something. You know, there's something better than what you just doing. No, so it's something else. <laughs> <laughs> not at all no yeah awesome. okay. like most like a lot of seminars where there's uh, uh eugene was teaching mostly and okay. i was just like sparring partner and also coming around to help uh, others with those nuances and body movements that are you know quite difficult sometimes to grasp uh, yeah yeah when you so, first come to them so with the group that you guys had what was your guys focus did, did you kind of start ground up or what would you guys focus on as far as what material <laughs> That we train, I mean, that we train with earlier are Balintawak and Murder Needs Guy. So I tried to I put it all together to make it, you know, fun for all for all of them to be with. Because you know, if you notice, you know, the basic of Modern Arnis, just you know, the basic that I saw, 
is similar to Balinta Wak. Mm. It's, you know, it's just different flavor the way, you know, Grandmaster Princess uh, expresses it. And of course, he was also very good in Balinta Wak too. Mm. So now I can plug it in, add the concept of the pop up and down thing. Mm. So it makes them easier all, for all of them to, to, to adapt. And with that, it's kind of like uh, every, you know, every FMA system has angle one, which is just something like that. But there's like almost an infinite amount of ways to do that angle one, depending on the angle of your stick, the position of your hand, the position of your mm. hand, the position of your body. And of course, the target can change too. a lot of people think angle one, you know, hits obviously, you know, wherever, you know, here's the, the temple. Yeah, or we, we should like, you know, neck, like, depending on. Yeah, like the, the body movement, like, I'll give you example, like, yeah. you know, it's this doable to, for everybody here. You, know, you guys can imitate this or create it bit better. So, like this, right? See, if it's here, if my weight is right here, it's the same strike. Now, if I lean back, it will change. Simple as that. That idea. So it's here, you block, block it, block it. Now, now again, block it, it changed. So something like that, where, you know, it's, wow, that's, 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 you know, that makes sense, it's doable for everybody. Yeah, I just need to show them how to do it, and they got it right yeah, away. One simple, one simple, uh... One simple movement, a, a very interesting concept, which 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 shows which makes your opponent or your partner misjudge the distance. That's one of the body movements that John explained, er, yeah. explained earlier. Okay, okay, okay. So, so did you guys have them kind of when they were partnering up, kind of back and forth and, um, in that progression? Yeah. Or did you kind of keep them more kind of just neutral, not moving their feet at first? We 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 did just the basic drills. You know, because in basic drills, like, you know, the backhand and the forehand, like, um, I'll show you the example <laughs> here, right? For instance, this one here. If this is close, you block it like this. If it's a little farther, you block it like that or strike at the same time. If it's a really, it's really close, close, you know, it's right here, you have this, the elbow, it's the same motion. See, if you block there, if I do the elbow, so it's the same, the same motion. So, you know, we, 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 we teach them the, you know, we taught them earlier the, the emphasis of the motion of blocking, which, you know, you can see in any system. If here, right here, this is the basic. It's, it's like you're doing the elbow here. If you, you block it here, you're doing the, the elbow and you're hitting back like this. So it's this, this motion. Or your favorite move, like here. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Yeah. It's that one. We can go back there. Yeah. So that's uh, those are the basics that uh, I showed earlier for everyone to to. I don't know. I saw Yuli Romo, Maestro Eugene. I I saw I saw Yuli Romo that move. <laughs> yeah. It's better than that one. Even yes. than that one, you know, that's what they mean. Which is yeah. from the basic here. One, two, and then it's like yeah, a yeah. Small, like you know, if you get in here. You have this, you know, then you cover this. You punch, you throw the elbow, then two and up. Uh, here, so, you know, it's no, 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 done, definitely. You know, so, done all the arts. I'm going to have to, hopefully, you'll be there this Wednesday night uh, with me and Yuli. And then, uh, uh, yeah, okay, okay. I'll, just, I'll do my best. What's that? I'll do my best, but he can do better than that, though. I'm yeah, happy. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I don't care what anybody says, man. Nobody moves like Yuli Romo. I don't, yeah. I don't care. I agree. I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> that guy's got the market corner as far as uh, originality and uniqueness. Yeah. Um, so, or so how, so how did it go? I mean, you guys did two or three hours. I mean, you guys, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm we, sounds we, like the group enjoyed it. They were receptive. You guys got, yeah. It's 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 the it's a movement that they already know. I mean, you know, it's the, the movement that they've been doing already, but they were not aware that they can do this thing. Mm. And like, you know, this is the punch, but hey, oh, I forgot this can hit the face too. Kind of like that. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, but you know, but now, we, oh, I thought it's only for the chest or something, but oh, it can hit the face too. Right. Like so, see, there are forms that they've been doing. That's right, they've been doing it. Oh, okay. They can do the stuff in the form that they're doing. So it's like the art between the art. So they already have the baseline. You're just adding, uh, uh, all right. Adding spices and the salt or sugar, you know. Yeah, yeah. You're just adding. <laughs> That's a nice way of putting it. Where did John go? Did, you, did we lose John? I think he's, yeah, he stepped out. Oh, okay. All right. No worries. Okay, 
Uh, and uh, let me see. Yeah, you really Yeah, I don't think he does, man. Seventy-five years old. That guy's still cutting corners like unbelievable. Yeah. Um, so, sorry. Yeah. so if you guys want, um, we're, cut, we're a little, little shy of coming up to the hour, but you guys got a ton of demos. So before, again, I, yeah, you guys take full liberty. Show whatever you want to show. When you guys are like want to kind of re-engage the audience, maybe if they have questions, I could definitely pull myself back up. But I'll do my best to answer everything if I can't. You know, I'll just return your email. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Daniel. So Daniel's request for his demo was he's asking if you could do the Balintawak selfie grouping system. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Oh, okay. So, that was his request. Yeah, so, oh. you, mean, you mean like this? <laughs> I, that's doable. You know, everybody oh can God. do that. You mean like All that? Right. No. I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh, like this, man, holding the phone like this? So, okay, where am I going to hit him? Okay, the leg? Okay, if he counter right here, if we do this one here, if I go down here, if not there, I hit him here, then I'm here. Oh, he's going to counter, so I go that one here. And like that? <laughs> that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been that was but that like when I looked at that was basically his question. If you could demonstrate selfie grouping system, well but, but I need to like uh, yeah. selfie. <laughs> yeah, I was I was, well, I was actually was technically grouping. Oh yeah, was, yeah. yeah, I was actually talking to him in you know, a video call. Oh, you want to hit the leg and that one there? Kind of like, gotcha. <laughs> so yeah, whatever you guys want to show. If you guys want to show like what you maybe show today, if you want to go into the different groupings. I know you guys already showed grouping one. We so. just covered we just covered group one, right? Okay, forgot. Yeah, you already did, yeah. Group yeah, two is a lot. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, so made to say now we're done with group one. So we go to group two. There's a lot you can do, you know. I can do just maybe four or five. I mean, well, upon seeing this, you can do more in your own interpretation. So group two is just body. Anything that goes botting is group two. So we have to say, if I give here, this is botting here. See, that one here, but, but, here, then here, then one here, but. So that's botting. So if you hear, here, I, I, can, I can get in, but again, I can do the bot here, I can do the bot here, I can do the bot here. Anything that goes botting is group two. So it applies in any system. Then group three is just trusting. <clears throat> so trusting, when you are the basic one to 12 or any basic, at first it's, a, it's our old strikes. But later when you know, it can be a thrust. Meaning to say you're hitting the tip of the stick. So kind of like if I hit here, there's a thrust here. There's a thrust. If it was tight, it's still a thrust there. See? A thrust. A group two and then a thrust, right? There you go. Huh? So anything that goes with the thrust and the real speed of the thrust is not like this. It's like this. It's that one. Yeah. So this is a, this is a speed of the thrust. So if it's here, if you have this, you have this height hit here. That's the speed of the thrust. That's why if you notice, they say that. Oh yeah, but when Nico, there's no power. No, <laughs> the flick is can be a thrust. Meaning to say, if I have it here, that's the speed of the, the thrust. Same here. It's not only that one. Because if you move your body here, oh. see, come on here. There's a thrust there. Yeah. And then group four is just a Yeah. Group three and four are highly related yeah. in that way. Group four and group three are highly yeah. related. Yeah. For safety, we hit on the side. Meaning to say, here, it's the side there, but later when you know it can get in close. Let's say it can be here. You strike back here, down here. I'm no longer gonna give my hand because there's a lot he can do. So those are thrusting and at the same time hitting. They call it in a Balintawa. Grandmaster Eddie's used to say it as a dua sa centro or center line game. So we have to say it's all the center. That's why if you notice Balinta Wak moves a lot like this. We don't because of the nature of the strike that goes here, here, all the way. 
is not only white, at least if you know it, unless if you're setting the map. So I mean to say, if I strike here, that one here, if it's strike here, this is my black. It's also all kind of like related, in, if it's a little distance, it's kind of related as the retirada. Retirada, if you do like this in Illustrissimo, you hit basic one, it's this one here, a bug sack. Because it's far, but if it's closer, you can still do this one here, the bug sack. That one here, see? And then I'm not giving my hand like this, but I'm giving the tip of my hand. So when I counter here, it's this one here. If he blocks here, see? The move here. I hit that. This is a, a flick and a, a thrust together. See, you know? So here. So that's why you notice our movements are tight. Because if, if I just do like this here, I hit with the head. That's why I need to you know, have my body moving. Mm -hmm. The basics like this. But later when you know it's just it's right here, it's just one here, it's very close. That one here, see? That's 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 your, that's your counter here. That's that's your that's your attack. If you strike here, it's no longer that one here, but I'm hitting that one, the center. Vice versa, if you do it to me too, then you hit it. That one here. See? I'll I'll do the same. You need to say hit look here, so I hmm? Vice versa here. Hmm. Everything's very narrow. It's narrow. Very narrow, very hand, elbow. Very, it's kind of the same as the, the, the drill here. If you hit here, mm -hmm. you hit down, down. Mm -hmm. Down here, see? It's the same thing. But now it's tighter. It becomes, you know, the body. The group five is just tripping. You have to say standard here. You see a lot of little doing this. Suyup, suyup. That's actually group five. Or kind of like almost like uh, that one or the other one like this. Like a spade daga. See? Or yeah, if we do this one here. Pa, po, boom, pa, pa. Then group two is just like the body, the elbow. If I, I go to bat here, I control the elbow. So grouping is very simple. Yeah. And then you notice my body movement a lot because like if you do group five mm -hmm. here, see, group five here, see? Oh. If you do this one here, if I move my body tighter, mm -hmm. see, I'm in. I'm just pulling it back and going back there. It's no longer like this. <laughs> For beginners, of course, I'll do this so he'll, he'll catch it. But later when I know it, that doesn't have to be that far. Yeah, even the, 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 the moment I got that group five or that disarm, I it's, got because he, it's because he, he gave me this beforehand. Like this, this was given to me, where in reality it wouldn't be given. I said, oh, it's far, oh, I can do it close too. Does it have to, you know, mm -hmm. I can do it close, does it matter? Same thing. So that's why Palito, we do tight. That's why one of my, Good teacher in Palito, great teacher is Grandmaster Eddie Bellis. He he uh, was this. He helped me understand what I first saw from Jugo Milan before. It was you know different system. I mean different lineage, but you know one source kind of thing. So those are the groupings are just simple, just simple as that one. So means you know how to you know, to pull it back, but if you give it group five. The other one, the other one here. Yeah. The one here, see? It's, you know, if I if I use my body and tighten it up, you know, I can just do this one here. See, it's not too gaping. See, counter with group three. Counter group three. So it doesn't have, in here, it's easy, it's easy because the hand is given. It's given. But now what if I, I do oh. this? Yeah. Right here, yeah. that one, you can catch it. Yeah. What if I do this oh. one here? So it changed the was given that time. Not it's his. tighter. So that's that's you know that's that's the the essence or the whatness of the Balinta walk that I know and that I understood from you know people who, who acquired your knowledge 
to me and oh, that's you know, helping me understand. yeah no thank you that was uh so the thrusting is fine you know again i when i had bobby on it was quite some time ago when he was going to the group and, and he could have very well said this i just perhaps don't remember does bobby also have thrusting in his groupings yeah that's okay. good Okay. Yeah, if you do like group three like this, it's our thrusting. It's like, you know, basic group three. Basic. This is the basic group three here, like this. Yeah. Or thrusting. Ah. Yeah, just a different level. Yeah. yeah. Same concept. Okay. okay. They're making it easy for me right here. I don't yeah. even have to move technically. You're just yeah. getting me used to it. Oh. Basic. Okay. See me advance. Oh. And then advance. Oh. Yeah. Mm. I you know, but different labels, yeah. uh, labels of it. But then here, basic. The chains, it's like a class here, he blocks the motion, I hit. He, he touches it, I hit again. So one, two, the, like, kind of like that. Huh. Group three, group three, group three, group three, is group three and group four is just like this one and that one. Group three is thrusting, defensive thrusting. That's why be, so be, it's like use your imagination in some yeah. ways. That's why be scared of this one that we take because that's actually a sonkiti. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. Like, I see such a flake, like a, the flavor in you from, like, I'm seeing it. Like, yeah. yeah that's the body movement that, <laughs> that we work on. Yeah. No, I think, it, I think it looks neat. I, I'm definitely seeing it. Like, you're. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Wow. That's awesome. 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 Um, so, with, with getting back to, so, and again, as far as like, so how do you, um, how you like how you rank how your rankings go so do you got levels or like you use levels like like bobby oh yeah in wood but yeah. levels one through nine one, one to nine at least a lot yeah levels one through nine yeah. but it's you really guys got nine levels if you really want to to learn the curriculum mm -hmm. yeah yeah uh, for those who really want to learn the levels and curriculum i would suggest you to learn from you know my handsome teacher ramon franco Good morning Okay. He is he is the man. Right now I'm just kind of busy. I mean I'm just kind of lazy to go all the way there. But if you really want the whole thing, yeah. Why 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 I you know I can do the stuff. The guy named Ramon Moni Franco Bell is that's the guy you guys have to find. He's not known. He's not so famous. But I have like ninety five or ninety six percent Palinto walk from him. Wow wow wow. So what what level are you up to? Not that right, I'm just man. Well, okay, I I, no, I, okay. I can't remember. <laughs> I don't even Le know. Level level one is is the basics. So okay. basic one to twelve with proper body positioning per se, basic defense, mm -hmm. and of course all the way to basic preparation for grouping. Level okay. two is the grouping system, so as a pattern, but also random and then broken. And essentially D different phase, different phase. Yeah. And also, you know. It's awesome and good, but the way I look at it, to be honest, it's not syllable American standard, unfortunately. Americans want quick and fast and easy, like cooking microwave or, you know. Uh, or, uh, I know, the Western. I was, yeah. was really, you know, if you really want to learn everything and have patience, yeah. the curriculum is so long. We have the stomping the foot, they have to play the elbow. Yeah. That's why right now, Mon is like, I think it's 18th or 19th zoom class yeah it never runs out yeah. i only pick wow. i don't want to learn that no 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 that one okay not that one this one kind of like that but if you want to learn everything, yeah they're picking yeah I, yeah i get you it's wow jeez this is too, wow 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 so when you're so far as your students like that you have students that want to rank up i mean do you give them levels correct or yeah, that's correct yeah, no, yeah that's correct, correct. Yeah. We have okay. the curriculums like you know yeah. basic groupings yeah. that then we isolate the drills the yeah. push and pulling yeah. the bridging the hitting point like the first three levels are pulling. essentially student rank from like yeah. say level one student to senior student and then there's a there's three assistant uh instructor levels and that mm. instructor, like full-fledged instructor and of course master wow 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 yeah. that interesting so uh so and so obviously i mean eugene you got uh, master eugene you got you got guys that are instructors and obviously are particular levels am i correct 
yeah, I only have few students who stick with me though, unfortunately. This is the one guy here, and there's another guy in Charlotte. Uh, a couple of us. Perry Comas, you know, he kind of yeah. looked like Facebook guy, looked like Mike, Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah. That guy in mm -hmm. Missouri. It's just like at least three. Yeah. Well, hey, at least you got, I mean, I, I'm training with yeah, me that yeah, I'm just avoiding him from yeah. politics. So I don't want to put them in. No, good for you. I know it, it could be exhausting. Trust me. I mean, uh, Running FMA discussion, believe me, <laughs> I can tell you all about politics. Honestly, very good in it, man. You know, it's like I cannot do that stuff you're doing. No, it, it's exhausting. I know it's exhausting. It's uh, yeah, it's yeah, really exhausting. Um, wow, well, but uh, so what? Um, okay, so do you guys ever like incorporate edge weapons, or do you pretty much sure. just? Yeah. Single stick or we 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 it's polytalk is more more stickish. Yeah. Though we can use the blade a little bit. But yeah, yeah. I'm not saying you guys can't, but I mean, do you guys incorporate once in a while or do you keep it separate training or sometimes, sometimes we have yeah. like just say single knife or mm -hmm. dagger, so like stick and dagger. Mm -hmm. We have we have some supplemental uh lessons on our curriculum. Yeah. Uh but but the most important thing is the body movement. Okay. So the body movement comes highly into play with things like knife, right? Group three, the stabbing, right? You can see that where that would, also, would come into play. And, and, and the body movement is going gonna, gonna to save your life. Yeah. Mm. So, and, and like I always say, you can't translate the techniques completely. Like I always say, you can't translate them. Just like some words in English don't have the exact translation in Visaya or Spanish, yeah. but you can interpret it as best you can. Yeah. So you have okay. to interpret some of these things. And, and You know what I mean? That's how I like to, like to sure. think about it. Sure, sure. Um, so, what um, what what would you advocate to the community, regardless of what sanction, what tier teacher, that benefit in training Blentavok? What would you like? What would you tell the community, each of you, like the benefits of training in Blentavok? Uh, the sense, well, my favorite is the sense of brotherhood and family, but um, it's it's. It's a very unique art to me. It, it, it to me it doesn't look like anything else that I've ever seen or experienced. Um, yes. Yeah. You know, it, it's 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 yeah. It's, it's I think that's fair. General is a little bit more esoteric than than for a lot of people. Like when a lot of people mm. meet, you know, like where I study and work, you know, they find out oh, I teach martial arts. Oh, which one? Oh, it's a style. It's a martial art from the Philippines, and they're just like, what? You know what I mean? So, um, and it, and it's. You know, like uh, Eugene Moninetti say, Balintawak comes from the heart. So we're, we're really serious. It's a, it's a really like, I hate to use the word intimate, but it's like <laughs> like an intimate setting. It's just, Training. it's kind of informal and there's not a lot of um, rhetoric. And like, we just we just have a great time just, just hanging out with each other and, and enjoying each other's company, training, okay. and the, the brotherhood and, and sense of families is what I enjoy the most. Same question for you, Master Eugene. Yeah, same thing. And also, Bolivar, a lot of good body mechanics that you, that applies to any art that you train. Does it have to be like yeah. literally the Bolintawak Bolintawak thing? But you know, those those aspects that you can add in the game that yeah. you play. Yeah. Kind of like you have the hit movements, kind of like a boxing yeah. a little bit, and then it has to you know those this kind of thing that you know, makes you react. Hmm. Like, yeah, you know, definitely call the. I mean, how that would enhance your reflexes, your perception, reaction. I mean, how can that not? That's why. Yeah, it's definitely, because yeah. It's yeah, definitely seeing the benefits there just from watching and looking at you guys. Um, so, if you guys had the time and the will, what other FMA system would you guys most would like to train in? I would. I would suggest all, because you know it's. Depends, like you sometimes. Let's just say, this guy can be can also absorb a lot watching Dusi Paris. This guy cannot get the Dusi Paris. Maybe he'll 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 excel in modern Arnis, and so on and so forth. This guy is not good in this, but maybe if you see you saw him, you see him, you show him illustrissimo, he can he can understand. You know, he can he can get better to it. So it depends how our brain is being wired, though. So it's kind of like whatever is close to your heart, whatever whatever system that easily you know you can absorb and makes you better, go mm -hmm. for it. Because you know at the end of the day, it's just it's just martial art, man. Just FMA. Yeah. It's nothing more. Than yeah, that. I know, I know. I think we forget that. Like, yeah, it's not that serious. There's no for me. You know, I'm not. I just I, I 
I'm I'm not, I'm not gonna say I'm the best. I'm just one of the good ones. Maybe yeah. just vary a little bit than the ugly ones. Just a little bit. I'm good enough. I don't have to be the best. You know, I don't want to be the best because you know someone yeah. come and beat me up. No, I don't want that. You just know, I just oh, yeah. having fun and you know just. Yeah, right. just yeah. If, if you're not having fun, uh, what the hell are you doing it for? Wow. Uh, same question, Master John. If you had the time, like what other FMA style would you like to train in? Um, geez. Uh, I don't want to completely echo what Eugene says, but of course, all of them. But of course, I have I have a lot of favorites that I watch, like on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I love to train with a lot of people. Like, in, uh, of course, in Ilustrissimo, Pahatsubu, Garimot, Modern Arnis, uh, and I'm sure a couple others. But what, mm -hmm. I remember uh, one time, when, when I think when the first day I met Eugene, and he was trying to explain the groupings, and he, and he, he made a statement that was something kind of like, Every technique in FMA can be found in the groupings. Whether that's true or not, it might be like a like a generalization, like a general truth. But like one thing is like um, like I said, like we said earlier, lifting using the left hand, that's found in everywhere. Modern Chinese, got right. him all these systems. But like or like group two or group three. But what's interesting is like watch how they express that, or like what your movement as Richie uh, Master Richie Kumahin once said. You know, if you you know you know group two or group one, but what could it become? You know, if you watch those bodies, how do they apply the same type of movement? And that could also give you some insights, you know? So I'm doing that to see how other systems, styles and personalities express the same movements that I have. Okay. I don't ask this question all the time we have guests, but if I have, I like to ask it sometimes if I have multiple guests. How would you like to see our community improve? as a whole FMA community, like what would you like to see as far as improvements? Well, one thing, this is a, it's a street and this is a speed bump. It's like this, right? It's the politics. Yeah. 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 If we pass that barrier, it's flat like this, maybe it, you know, yeah. it's better than what we are now, which I it's just, it's yeah, just, we're killing ourselves. We're holding ourselves back as far as, you know, when you look at FMA, comparatively speaking, to the other arts and where they are in the business plane and all that, I mean, we're, I hate to say it, uh, we're behind. You know what I mean? Um, and yes. it's not, we're really not helping ourselves by freaking arguing over stupid stuff, you know? And that's a fun follow up question to the last one, because when you asked me what other styles would you like to learn hypothetically, well, there's probably a few, but maybe some of them won't train with me. For political reasons or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, or, and there's kind of such thing as superiority you know, complex. So like, kinda, hey, my system is better than yours. Yeah, that's just. You're uh, nothing. I'm not going to train with you. So, kind of like. I think we're going to go away. I think, I'm is, telling you, I think a lot of this older guard gets removed or they. So the hunters like this, the, the politics. I don't know. Yeah. You know, I don't see the younger generation perpetuating as much as the old I, I i hope i'm wrong i mean i mean um i just don't i mean i hope i'm right rather i, I just don't see it happening you know i just think we have a more level head community with the younger folks they do want to cross train they don't want to get caught up in the politics they don't have a dog in the fight they don't care and i think that's going to grow i, I so. think you know well, with the help um, of media and program like you that, that, that opens it up is like the key to open the door and yeah i keep pushing it and spreading it but people are you know it's like people are going to take the clean water or they're going to just keep drinking <laughs> those murky we got oh steve improve politics we need more politics Yay. <laughs> Brody, guy, always coming up with a funny oh steve Brody, looks like i'm um i'll be heading to california august might be going to LA. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. We could sit if I could see you, that'd be great. Um, so okay, what's your guys, your future goals for each and each one of you? You know, whether it's yourself, your students, the system. What are you guys' uh, goals? Um, I hope to. Uh, I'm starting to get out there a little bit more, honestly. Um, oftentimes I, I kind of kept to myself a little bit with Balintawak, but I'm starting to realize that maybe I should promote myself a little bit more out there. And uh, really? training partners also want that because, you know, it's just kind of like this super informal setting in my training floor, in my basement. Nobody knows that I exist here, you know. So, and I just want to help promote Watbag and Balintawak and uh, FMA. And I think I owe that 
to uh, my teachers and of course especially you know uh, the late great grandmaster Eddie Velez you know I know he really wanted what bag and Bonita walk to you know, mm. throughout the world and and really you know be here for as long as possible and, uh, I think it's happening like yeah, we mentioned like, we talked about before with GM Bobby I mean he's he's pushing it I mean yeah. you know so he's gonna bring it up and I think the people who do it similar Obviously, do bone to walk, but just are not affiliated with him. It's still going to bring you guys up as well. Oh yeah, absolutely, yeah. yeah. And also, yeah. So, yeah it's a yeah. great job. I just want to promote bone to walk and what bag, and also uh, just do so with um, um, with like uh, in the proper way. Mm. Sometimes it can be easy to. I, mean, I don't know if come, come off the wrong way online. Sometimes I, I've done that maybe in the past, and I think we all like. Yeah, I know. It's, 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 yeah. yeah. We learn from it and you just, yeah, you know, hopefully just, don't do it again. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, uh, Master Eugene, what are your goals? Well, I first, of course, I hope I, I'll get better, <laughs> better than I have, I, I am now. Yeah. You know, hopefully, you know, the, the barrier of the politics or the, the superiority complex that my system's better than yours, yours, or something, will be a less, less, you know, lower. So, you know, more people have an opportunity to grow. It's mostly how oh, like Ben Dean is good, but you know my teacher John's gonna kill me if I'm gonna meet him. So yeah, I, I wish I know how to do his you know his kind of stuff, but mm. I got scared of him. You know I hope that it's gonna be gone, which hope my lifetime. But if not, you know that's that's one of my you know my goals that I hope you know my as goals or my dream I would say my dream that I hope it's gonna be like that and hopefully promote FMA as a whole. You know kind of like. Yeah. Can be balint the walk, but anything. So the goal is just you know to to promote the art, you know, just promote the art. You know, I use balint the walk, I and mean, I promote balint the walk. But does it mean that I promote what? But I'm not gonna help promote the others, you know. Yeah. It's, they're next to me, behind me. That's my goal. Okay, I can carry you with me if I'm famous, but which I'm not. Yeah, yeah. There are cousins. You know, Tim Hartman, I think, says the best. He's somebody that um, you know. You know, people say what they want about him, but I tell you, man, that guy, you know, he's really, really brings people up and tries overall to get yes. people up. And he does, I mean, really a good job of that. And exactly, if we continue to bring it and draw up, I mean, as far as the FMA community, it's just that's what's going to bring us higher, get more popularity and all that. Right. They keep like anybody yeah, over stupid crap. People like that can help. Yeah, that's true. It's just, yeah, you know what I mean? But I think it's going to happen. I just, it's not happening as quickly, you know, but I think it can, I I think it can happen. I hope it does, but. Yeah, I hope it does too. That's, you know, my goal or my dream. Goal is, yeah, I think dream is, sounds better. I hope to do that. Yeah. So uh, when are you heading back? Oh, me? I'm flying back on Monday. <laughs> Monday. Here. Yeah. So how do you enjoy Connecticut? <laughs> it's been a while since I was here. I was like I was here like four years ago. Four years ago, okay. I miss seeing you know the leaves and all this stuff because oh the foliage, yeah. You know where they got? Oh man, New England. It's been a while. Yeah, that's, that's what we're known for: foliage and taxes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, but uh, enjoying a, that eight-hour flight, you know, plus the over. It's you know, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, jeez, man. Well, you I, I hope to see you Wednesday night, but if you, if I don't, I know you're probably recuperating from the, the weekend. Yeah, still. If, if I'm free, I, I'll be there. I'll, you know. I'll yeah. Be, you're, good. you're getting better. So, uh, so John, well, hopefully uh, we're going to run into each other sooner and later, I hope. Yeah, of course. Okay. We're not that far away. <laughs> no, I'm, running, I'm trying to get something. Chris, look, uh, I just got this message pretty recent. Chris Lakov is coming up. End of August 28th. He's going to be here the weekend of the 28th, and he wanted to know if we could all get something together. And so I told him I would talk to a few folks and see what we could, uh, you know, get together, you know. So, sure. Yeah, we can talk about that, of course. Yeah, yeah. So I know Brian was talking about doing something. So uh, maybe I'll message him and just tell him, hey, Chris reached out and just see if that. That date works for him, but it was the last weekend in August. I know that. So, yeah. Um, 
But anyways, I thank you guys for coming on. I really enjoyed the demos. I thought you guys did fantastic with those. They thank looked great. Right. Yeah, yeah. Thank you everybody for watching. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Actually, no, there was a lot of comments. Uh, there was 20 people at one time. Answer, Daniel, is it that? you are the best. No, I'm not the best. I'm just one of the good ones. That's, you know, <laughs> yes, right. Don't ever say the best. Someone will come over me and beat me up. Okay. Yeah. It's safe to say I'm just one right. of them. All boats. Yes. That's um, what the. Uh, that's the best because, you know, so I'm one of them. That's what beat me up. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. so much. It was, uh, that was great. Oh, good. Getting some uh, Chris. Awesome. Yeah. But uh, all right, hey, appreciate you guys. Um, I'm glad we made this happen. Um, oh, you know, I, I just I wish I could have obviously been in, you know, right there with you guys. But um, yeah, but hey, at least the, at least this at least the community got to hear from both of you. You know, oh, yeah. oh, awesome. So, Thanks. We just yeah. you know, to help and glad to you know. Oh. Yeah. So. Uh, all right, so Matt, Mr. Eugene, see you Wednesday. Not just yeah, yeah, I probably would. Yeah. I know, I probably would. Probably. <laughs> be there in a slumping in a corner. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Master Yuli with his antics will keep you away. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, Master John. Hey, I want to thank you both. You guys thank take you. care and uh, you, don't be strangers. We'll be in touch, John, because I like I said, if, if Chris comes out. Be kind of neat to get something going, you know. That'd be great, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Have all right. Week. Have a safe, safe flight home. Oh yeah. Thank you, sir, and happy Easter. Yeah. Same to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. You guys take yeah, care. Thanks for coming too. Whoever's watching, you know, appreciate you guys coming. I mean, looking at us. And there were a lot. Check them out. All right, that wraps up 281. So who is next? Doubleheader, Tuesday night. Um, I believe it's going to be Conrad and Patrick. Uh, Martin coordinated this one. I'm just gonna, kind of going to be along for the ride on that one. But that's going to be Tuesday, 630 to 8. 8 to, I'm going to guess, about 10 Eastern time. Having confirmed, it's probably going to happen. Um, I'm just going to know absolutely tomorrow, but really special guest. Um, yeah, somebody that uh, we were trying to get on. It looks like it's finally going to happen. And uh, you guys will be pleasantly surprised. Also, raffle, Ukraine Refugees. It's going on to May 15th. Ten bucks a ticket. Check all the prizes out there. It's on the pin post. You just click on it. You'll see all the prizes donated. Ten bucks, and it's going to a, a great cause. All right, folks, if you haven't already, please subscribe to FMA Discussion on YouTube, where all the monies we receive from the channel go to charity. The more subscribers we get, the more views we get, the more money we get, the more we can give to charity. Okay? All right. Thank you, and good night.